In this video, we will discuss about pressure in well control. Topics in this video are, hydrostatic pressure. Hydrostatic pressure formulas. Pressure in a well. Formation pressure. Bottom hole pressure. In a well, any pressure created by a static column of fluid is called hydrostatic pressure. At any given true vertical depth, with hydro representing water, which exerts pressure, static means it has no movement. Any pressure developed by a column of fluid that isn't moving, therefore, can be considered hydrostatic pressure. The relationship of hydrostatic pressure is shown in the equations below. Hydrostatic pressure is equal to density multiplied by gravity acceleration, multiplied by true vertical depth. In oil field, the formula is modified, so that people can use it easily. The formulas is as follows. Hydrostatic pressure is equal to constant multiplied by mud weight, and multiplied by true vertical depth. These formulas are used to calculate hydrostatic pressure. The first one is the commonly used formula in the industry. Hydrostatic pressure depends on two factors, which are mud weight and true vertical depth. Hydrostatic pressure does not depend on hole size or hole geometry. For example, well A and well B have the same vertical depth. With the same mud density and hole, the bottom hole pressure due to hydrostatic pressure is the same. The only difference between well A and well B is mud volume. In a static condition, pressure at any depth is equal to hydrostatic pressure plus surface pressure. Pressure between two points is hydrostatic pressure between these points. The diagram below demonstrates the relationship of pressure in a well. At point number 1, pressure is equal to surface pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure at point number 1. At point number 2, pressure is equal to surface pressure, plus hydrostatic pressure at point number 1, plus hydrostatic pressure at point number 2. Formation pressure is the pressure of fluid contained in pore space of rock. And there are three categories of the formation pressure which are normal pressure, abnormal pressure and subnormal pressure. Normal pressure is the hydrostatic of water column from the surface to the subsurface formation. It can be simply stated that normal pressure is equal to hydrostatic pressure gradient of water in pore spaces of formations on each area. The concentration of salt in water affects normal pressure. Higher salt concentration in water, higher specific gravity of water will be. Therefore, the normal pressure can vary from slightly salt, 0.433 psi per foot, to highly concentrated salt, 0.478 psi per foot, based on salt concentration in water. The table demonstrates the average normal pressure gradient based on several areas. The abnormal pressure is the pressure greater than the normal pressure. Generally, the abnormal pressure zones are good reservoir, which oil companies are looking for. This kind of pressure has the highest potential to cause well control problems. The subnormal pressure is the pressure that is less than normal pressure and it possibly causes lost circulation problems. Looking at the drawing below, it demonstrates the comparison of formation pressure when drilling into each pressure regime. At the same true vertical depth, subnormal pressure shows least pressure in comparison to others. However, Abnormal pressure gives the highest pressure at the same level of true vertical depth. Many people think that only abnormal pressure can lead to a well controlled incidence. However, any formation pressure can cause the well to flow, if the hydrostatic pressure is less than formation pressure. So please always remember that, 
Any formation pressure can lead to well control events. Let's talk about bottom hole pressure. Bottom hole pressure is equal to surface pressure plus hydrostatic pressure. If bottom hole pressure is greater than formation pressure, this situation is called overbalance. If bottom hole pressure is equal to formation pressure, this situation is called at balance. If bottom hole pressure is less than formation pressure, this situation is called under balance and we will have well control situation. For more understanding, please follow this example below. It will demonstrate test relationship of bottom hole pressure, surface pressure and hydrostatic pressure. We assume that formation pressure is normal pressure gradient of water, 0.465 psi per foot, so formation pressure at 8000 foot TVD is equal to 3720 psi. The first case, hydrostatic column is water, which is equal to formation pressure, so surface pressure is equal to 0 psi. The second case, Bottom hole pressure is still be water gradient, but fluid column is oil 0.35 psi per foot, which is lower density than water 0.465 psi per foot. Therefore, in order to balance bottom hole pressure, we need surface pressure of 920 psi. The third case. Bottom hole pressure is still be water gradient but fluid column is gas 0.1 psi per foot which is even lower density than water 0.465 psi per foot. Therefore, in order to balance bottom hole pressure, we need surface pressure of 2920 psi. According to the example, surface pressure will compensate the lack of hydrostatic pressure in order to balance formation pressure. Thanks for watching our video. If you like our contents, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram.